go down to Rome's. So Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, indeed have the best wide receiver duo in the National Football League with Justin Frickin' Jefferson. Wide receiver one, alpha one, everyone's hearts, everyone knows it, right? And also upstar Jordan Addison head into year two, the pride of USC. Nah, 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 nah. The guy who won Kenny Pickett Heisman as well as made Caleb Williams number one overall pick. No big deal. But, of course, uh, over the last two off seasons. Yeah, a couple issues with Jordan Addison, uh, but he's back at camp. And, you know, pending on what happens with his legal situation, like he will probably face punishment, but it might not be this year. I mean, this thing could drag out. It could be a suspension next year or even the year after that. Uh, but we'll see. Either way, Vikings at training camp and it's back to business as usual. But an interesting caveat. So Saturday, Monday and Tuesday, Vikings last three practices, Jordan Addison has been returning punts. And he's been doing that with incumbent punt returner Brandon Powell. And it really doesn't make a lot of sense, mainly because he wasn't much of a punt returner in college, as well as he didn't return punts last year as a rookie. And he looks to be solidified as wide receiver, too. But other than that, it makes a ton of sense. Now, uh, special teams coordinator Matt Daniels, future head coach, by the way, lo love coach hat. Uh, he... He hasn't spoken to the media yet. Uh, I'm sure that he'll come up in the rotation. Might even be tomorrow uh, because I'm sure a lot of people want to know what's going on. But, uh, of course, the answer will be, you know, we're just experimenting. We're just trying things out here in training camp because that's what we do and blah, 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 blah. But, like, like I said, Addison, like, this isn't even like a Brandon Ayuk situation where Ayuk was a dynamic punt returner at Arizona State. Uh, but he uh, Addison was sort of whatever, returning punts. I mean, he had a nice year at Pitt, uh, but he had four punt returns in 2022 for the Trojans for 4.8 yards per return. Woo. Woo. It, it just really doesn't make any sense. And here's why. So Addison, like I said, has limited punt return experience, only 18 returns in college. Zero goose egg DeAndre Russell in the National Football League. None in camp last year that, that I, I, I remember. Uh, none in preseason, obviously. And also, generally, you don't put one of your starters as the punt returner unless it's like a high leverage situation, like game on the line. That's really the only time you do it. And Addison you know, is clearly wide receiver two on this team. And the guy slated to be wide receiver three, like, has consistently had health issues. Like, you don't really trust Jalen Naylor to stay healthy. So basically, you don't have anyone that you trust behind Addison uh, at this point in time. I mean, we're warming up to Naylor, but uh, Brandon Powell is more of a gadgety type player, the incumbent punt returner. And like we said, he's more than capable. I mean, last year, 8.0 yards per return in 2023. More importantly, he didn't have any muffs. He did have a fumble against uh, Philly, but that was after, but nah, nah. Uh, and, and returning punts is just more than being a dynamic athlete, right? And there's a big reason why. You'll see this split a lot where you have a great kick returner, great re kick returner who doesn't return punts because it's a completely different skill set. The trajectory of the ball is different as well as what's really more important about returning punts and having a chance to bust one is securing the ball, like catching the ball in flight. And it's always a weird, so punters, punters have gotten really good, man. So like the English and the spin, especially, so Belichick love left footed punters because they put a weird spin on the ball and most returners don't see left footed punters. It's a competitive advantage, and uh, as we know, Belichick always took every competitive advantage he could possibly find. Uh, but, again, it's different than just returning kicks. So you'll see great kick returners who never touch a punt, and you always wonder, like, how come Cordero Patterson didn't return punts or, or whatever, but it's a different skill set. And Brandon Powell is perfectly fine at it. Also, he's very good at securing the ball, especially when you're outdoors and it's windy. And that hidden yardage of not letting the ball bounce and then roll, it's important. It's really damn important. So it's more than just uh, having a chance to be explosive in the open field, which Addison is, right? Uh, but also, you know, guys like there, Thomas at NC State, Ja'Shawn Jones in Maryland, like they have a ton of punt return experience. And you, you would think that, especially for them, trying to make the rooster, trying to make the practice squad, having that skill set in their back pocket where they can be punt returners that uh, Coach Hatt and Coach uh, O'Connell can trust, wouldn't that make more sense? So I, I don't understand this. Like, is this punishment? I don't see how this is punishment, just wasting a resource like practice rep and time uh, on Addison because there's 0% goose egg D'Angelo Russell chance that you're putting your wide receiver two back there, especially when you have Brandon Paul on the roster. It just really doesn't make any sense. But uh, I'm sure Coach Daniels, uh, Coach Hat will have a chance to address it. Uh, hopefully the beat writers will uh, ask. I mean, it, it certainly makes sense, but it's just weird. It's just weird, man. Hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, Jordan Addison returning punts the last three days at training camp. Why? Why? I mean, put there Thomas. Put Deshaun Jones back there, man. Come on. Come on. Let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section. You guys know what to do. Skull production value.